hey guys what's up it's Warren here back with another video and in this video i will be showing you guys how to pixelize your redmi note 3 by installing pixel rom basically we are going to install lineage os and customize it by flashing pixel mod and let me tell you one thing that the vlt also works on this rom and the ok google detection also works perfectly fine so with that being said let's get started So Google Pixel is considered to be the best phone of 2016 because of its excellent performance and stock Android experience. So in this video I will be showing you guys how to get that pixel like stock Android experience on your Redmi Note 3. And just in case if you are wondering how I customize my home screen, I will make a separate video on Android customization. Just let me know if you want that video to be made or not in the comment section down below. First of all you have to download these zip files. The links to these zip files will be in the video description down below so do not forget about that. And you need to have an unlock bootloader on your device and a custom recovery installed. If you don't know how to unlock the bootloader of your Redmi Note 3 and install a custom recovery then just tap on the i button and you can get to the video. So once you have downloaded all the required files, just copy them to your internal or external storage. Now power off your device and hold volume up and power button at the same time. By doing this you can boot into TWRP. So in TWRP first of all go to backup and backup everything if you are doing it for the first time. And if you know how to install a custom ROM or have been doing it for a while then you can just skip this step. Once the backup process has been completed just come back and just go to wipe and click on advanced wipe and select everything except internal and external storage and swipe to wipe now just come back and go to install and navigate to the files that you have downloaded earlier and select the zip files in order as shown in the video As you can see it is installing the zip files one by one. Now just wait for the flashing procedure to be completed. Once the flashing process has been completed just click on reboot system. First boot will take some time so just be patient and enjoy the boot screen. So we have successfully booted into pixel rom that is lineage os. I'll just set up the device. All the basic sensors like fingerprint scanner, proximity sensor and many more are working perfectly fine. While setting up your fingerprint, just make sure you set up the fingerprint from all the possible directions. It will result in better accuracy of your fingerprint scanner. We also get Google Assistant pre-installed on this ROM and that too with OK Google detection. I will show a demonstration as we proceed further in this video. As you can see, the home screen on my device is just like Pixel and we also have that Google Live Wallpaper. As you can see we also have that blue status bar like Google Pixel. Now I will show you the VLT on this ROM is working or not. As you can see the VOLT is working perfectly fine. Let's talk about the highlighting feature of this ROM. That is, it has the 4K recording option inbuilt in the stock camera application. You can enable the 4K video recording by just going into camera application. Under the settings, just select UHD 4K. It also has the Vulkan API built in this ROM so the gaming performance on this ROM will be the best possible gaming performance on Redmi Note 3. You can check the Vulkan API is installed or not by downloading an application called AIDA64. Under the devices you can find that Vulkan device Adreno 510. 
and guys let me tell you that this rom is not pre-rooted like other custom roms if you want to root this rom just download these zip files from the description down below copy them to your internals now boot into twrp by holding volume up and power button at the same time once you are in twrp just go to install and flash the zip file that you have downloaded earlier and reboot system Now if you just go into developer option, here you can see under the root access we have apps and ADB. Now let me show you that the OK Google detection works perfectly fine on this ROM. OK Google. What can you do? So guys that was a small demonstration of OK Google detection in this pixel ROM. So many of you guys may encounter flashlight, flashlight bugs after installing this ROM. So to fix this bug just download an application called flashlight for Kenzo. The direct link to the application will be in the video description down below. Just install it and grant the root permissions and replace your stock flashlight to this flashlight. Well that's it for this video guys, make sure you subscribe to this channel because I will be posting many more videos like this one. Comment down below if you have any questions, I do read every one of your comments. Hit that like button if you like this video. With that being said, this is Warren here signing off, you guys have a great day.